Hello, I'm Ian Zalea from ToleratedCinematics.com. And today I will be showing you how to create this. Alright, here we are in Adobe After Effects and this is what we are going to create today. So right here I have my footage and the only thing that I've done is right click, time and froze my frame right here. I will delete my shape layer for now and as you could see uh, we only need one layer to actually make the complete effect. So let's get started. The first thing that I will do is right click new and go for a new shape layer. Go to add right here and we're going to add an ellipse to that shape layer. Once you have that, you can open up the ellipse path and change the size to 150. Then we're going back to the add and add a fill to our circle. Change the color to white and click OK. Now what we want to do is add a repeater so that we repeat our edge in, well, our circle in an array. So we're going to add repeater. Currently it's going to repeat it on the X. We can open up the repeater right here. You're going to see that we currently have three copies. We're going to change this to eight and then we're going to open up the transform settings for the repeater. You can see right here the position is affected, we don't want that, so zero that out. And then we're going into the rotation right here and we're going to enter 360, which means the 360 degrees that are in a circle. We're going to divide it by eight, so we have that nicely divided. So we have the exact value here. Now it's up to us to play with this anchor point right here. You can see that if you're going to play with this, you're going to get a circle like so, which is actually exactly what we want. The only thing that you can see is that it's not centered. It's actually adding it to the bottom. So currently our circle is here. We want it in the exact center. So what we will do is scroll down here, going to the transform and alt click on the position. We're going to enter a small expression. So what I will do is open the brackets enter value, open again the brackets, enter zero, close brackets, zero stands for X, comma, value, open brackets, one, close brackets, and now we actually say the value for zero can stay zero, well, can stay the exact value that we wanna, that we currently have right here, and then we have the value for Y, and here we wanna do it minus, and then pick, the value here of our anchor point right here. So we're going to pick exactly this value and that's going to pick it right here. And then again, we have to close the brackets one more time. So close it right here and there we go. Now it's perfectly centered. And if you're going to play with your anchor point, it's always going to scale from the, ce from the center out. So that's also a handy thing. Like if you wanna make it a little bit bigger and increase the size a little bit, there we go. We can do whatever we want and it's going to look good. Okay, so now I'm going to zero out my start opacity so we have something like this. Then go to the beginning of your timeline and actually I want to cut this here. Okay, trim, work, well, trim the comp to work area. The beginning of my timeline and I will click on the stopwatch for the copies of the repeater. I'm going to set this to zero. Hold shift and press the page down key on your keyboard to jump 10 frames forward. We want to do this three times so we actually jump 30 frames forward and we're going to set this to eight. So now we have one second and then our entire loading, well, load bar is on screen. Well, it's not a load bar, it's a load circle. Then right here, once the copies are on screen, I want to click on the stopwatch for the offset at the exact same position. And then again, hold shift and press the page down key three times. So we are 30 frames further. So we are 30 frames further in time. So do this three times. There we go. And enter eight. Do it again. 16. And just multiply it. Well, not multiply it. Um, add it with eight. So 24. 32, 40, 48. And you can do this as many times as you want, like right here. I'm going to close this and trim the comp to work area. So now we have this kind of animation. And of course, this doesn't look nearly as what we actually want. We want it to flicker. And currently we have an issue. And right here you can actually see the issue. We have three and we actually wanted to jump instead of having these commas in between. So what we wanna do is hold Alt and click on the stopwatch for the offset right here. And here we're going to add another expression. Type math.round, open parentheses, and pick the exact same value of offset and close it. 
And there we go. Now we want to do the same thing for the copies. So alt click on the stopwatch for the copies. Math.round, open parentheses, pick copies and close the parentheses. And there we go. And now if we're going to preview this, we will have our loading circle, not bar, circle, a loading circle. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.